Oh, look at this. Look at it. Oh, yeah. You're yawning or was that a... Oh, yeah. Tail whip. Oh, you're so aggro. I've never worked harder on an animal to turn them around and get them healthy. How cool is that? We're going to get a new monitor habitat. But we got to walk through our crazy slinky. He's doing great. That's my feet. That's my feet. Yes. <laughs> you guys almost saw uh, a total mistake. I'm glad I caught this on camera, man. This video totally went a different direction. Woo! Check this out. Here we are. We are working hard on Slinky's new habitat. Look at this place. It's all for you, buddy. This is awesome, man. I love making these lizards' lives better. How cool is that? Hey, what's going on, everyone? Kenan here. Beautiful day. It is about 95 degrees here in Florida. It is getting hot, man. I wanted to just uh, peek in on Robbie Rubino here. Good old Bobby. Robert. There he is. Good old Bob. Uh, I just got done misting him down. Now he's out here. It's full sun. It's pretty hot. I misted him down. And you can see this guy is definitely feeling better. He's definitely a much more aggro little lizard back to normal. I'm very, very happy about how this guy has completely turned around. Come here. Come here. Oh, there he is. So cute. Come here. Come say hello to everyone. Oh my God. He is just way, way better. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennet. This week's special shout out goes to Jennifer Costin. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. But I'm so glad he pulled through of whatever the heck was going on with him, but there he is. I don't want him to run away from me, but what I'm thinking of doing now, folks, is because we got this guy back to normal and he's real aggro and hissing and being a proper little monitor, I think it's time we graduate him and possibly Inky uh, to a different habitat today. Uh, I'm gonna make use of some of my friends from Fluker's materials and I think it's gonna be time for us to put them, oh, look at this, look at it. Oh yeah, you're yawning or was that a, oh yeah, tail whip, oh, you're so aggro. That is a good little dude. How great is it that he turned around, man? I've never worked harder on an animal to turn them around and get them healthy and I feel so happy and so accomplished and i couldn't have done it out done it without my friend mike gillen dr mike gillen from pga animal clinic he really we threw everything but the kitchen sink at this guy so right now what's going on folks is i want to make use of some habitat that i have inside of guapo and lola's section we don't have uh so many of the snakes any longer so we've got some spare places hey look there's slinky he's doing great that's my feet that's my feet yes <laughs> big seek chill i gotta chill don't bite my feet buddy oh i did the wrong thing what do you guys think i did wrong i'm wearing new sandals and wearing the new sandals i uh whoo i got him excited you guys almost saw uh, a total mistake and uh, I'm glad I caught this on camera, man. What happened once I stopped acting like a freak? I stopped acting like prey and Slinky stopped chasing me. And he was able to figure out that those were my feet and not something to eat. Holy smokes, my adrenaline's up right now, I'll tell you. This video totally went a different direction. So cool, Slinky. But you see guys, how once I calmed down, he realized that that was not food, but he was in a food response. It shows you that these are very smart animals. Uh, by the way, his skin's looking real good too. He's shedding off the skin that was in Slinky. These are just sandals, buddy. Those are my feet. Those are my feet. Wow, new sandals, new rules. They are white or off-white, and he thought that they were something to eat. Good boy. Anyway, here's the injured skin. You can see it's healing up nice. Again, Dr. Mike Gillen hooking me up. Uh, so I'm gonna gently walk away. Whoo! How fun is this video already? My gosh, ah, oh, look at all the lunatics. They're getting fed today. So they're all, they know when feeding day is. So here is Guapo and Lola, but check it out. I've got these two empty environments. And right now the monitors are big enough that they can live in here. So I've got some nice weeds. I can just pluck some weeds. Um, we've got some bark here. We've got nice sunlight. We also have uh, water that will drip into a water bowl. So what do you guys say? I get to work here. I'll clean this out and then we'll add a few features to make this perfect for Bobby Rubino. 
and we'll set him up. Whee! How cool is that? We're gonna get a new monitor habitat, but we gotta walk through our crazy slinky. Maybe I'll change my shoes so as to not have any unfortunate accidents. It would have been my fault. Uh, but once I stopped moving, he figured it out. I just had to, I didn't know if I trusted him just to be dead still. So anyway, you saw me do some fancy footwork. I don't have to worry about it with these guys, but uh, going back through Slinky, <laughs> we'll just move slower. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna get together some materials and we are gonna freshen up these enclosures and we're gonna give them to the Inky, the Black Dragon, we're gonna also give it to Bobby Rubino. They'll be outside, they'll have water dripping on them. I think this is gonna be a really nice graduation present as these guys have gotten bigger. All right, so we're gonna walk back through with Slinky. Let's show you guys how to properly do that without getting eaten. Hey buddy, you see? These are just, I'm not gonna move. These are just my sandals and my feet. Don't bite the feet to feed you. Good boy. They have that reptilian brain that triggers movement, something new, I gotta eat it. But once he figures out that this is not good food, that it's a part of his buddy, Kenan, then he knows not to attack me. He's also been digging, which is why we have cement all around these enclosures. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Oh, and by the way, by the way, we might as well show you what I've been busy doing, okay? Just give you an update on his enclosure so that you guys know I've not been slacking. Let's get on over here real quick before we get to work on all this other good stuff. Um, whew. So anyway, check this out. This is awesome. I've been working hard. We got the entire roof done with the Knitwire. Our friends from Knitwire over in the UK sent us this amazing product. It's lightweight, but super strong. And so I decided to use it on the roof. You could barely even see it, guys, but there is a wire mesh up there, very, very strong, that will hold concrete from falling out of buildings and construction sites. We're actually employing it to actually be used to keep in these big monitor lizards, Slinky. Here's his habitat right here. But if you notice on the back, we've got some wire going up on the back. Here we are. Check it out, check it out. We're gonna put a two by four across and we're gonna have another uh, set of wire, a thinner strip of wire, about a foot and a half of wire that will complete this. But I got the major part on. We're gonna frame this out so you won't see any of these screws in there. Um, really, really strong stuff. I use it on all my cages. It cuts down on nose rub. They can't injure themselves on it. So we are working hard on Slinky's new habitat. But right now, let's give Inky and Bobby Rubino a new place to hang out. All right, everyone, I'm gonna get to it right now.
Okay, friends, let me show you what I have done, actually. Uh, I'm going to clear this out real quick. This is going to get a whole redo uh, when I move Slinky into his new enclosure in just a few weeks. Not even. Um, days, really. But um, we're going to redo this whole enclosure for Guapo and Lola. And then, of course, Guapo and Lola's is going to be where the Blackthroats go. Uh, anyhow, here is Slinks. Here I am. And uh, this is what I'm doing. So right now we got the misters going. Now, I was thinking this was gonna be, this is gonna be uh, Inky's place, but I'm not 100% sure that Inky is large enough to not fit through this wire. So I don't think I'm gonna put Inky out yet. I wanna put a little more weight on her uh, before I do. But that being said, here's what I did. We got some Fluker's Repta Bark. We got a concrete pad here, uh, a mixing tub that you can get from a home supply company, uh, hardware store, something like that. I'm getting misted on right now. Uh, the sprinklers are on filling up the water. We got two of the large Havoc Havoc Caves from Fluker. And then likewise on this side, I left the gravel substrate. Uh, we've got two hides right here, a little bit more open. I might include a plant, uh, but we've got water and I might include a larger water bowl from the soaking. Now, look at this lunatic. Here's the blackhead, mon uh, blackhead uh, python. This guy won't be here for much longer. He's gonna get moved out to a new home, uh, but um, it is secure. I checked it and I'm actually gonna double check back there. I, I have hog rings, everything's wired shut. Um, so I am gonna put Bobby Rubino in here, but everything looks nice and secure. That being said, blackheads do eat other reptiles. So uh, I'm probably gonna move him out real soon here uh, and put him in a vision cage before he actually goes on out to his new, uh, his new home. Okay, why don't we get Bobby Rubino? Let's do it. Let's get Robert Rubino out here and see how he likes this new home. We're gonna watch him interact with it. I wanna just see, he'll show us any weaknesses in it, but I don't think there are any, I double checked. But let's go ahead and do this, people. We gotta make sure when we grab him, we don't want Slinky to see him at all. Um, let's see, there's one other thing I wanted to grab, and we'll do that. Something else I wanna do to make Bobby happy. And that is grab a packet of fresh feeders from our friends at Fluker. These are Doobie Roaches. They're uh, vacuum packed and boy does Bobby love them. So I'm gonna keep these in my back pocket. We're gonna get Bobby uh, out of the inside because what I did was I took all the baby tortoises that were just little guys that are growing up nicely and uh, they are now gonna live out here in this habitat and uh, get some natural sunlight. So they've graduated. We use that concrete mixing tub for Inky's water bowl uh, when she's ready to come out here. I, I am gonna hold off on that. I don't wanna risk her sliding through those, um, those little inch by half uh, wire openings. Let's have a look at her. We ate a little egg earlier. Just pull this out. And we just gotta gently feel. Remember, I've been using this very simple setup as a way to kind of keep her healthy and she's been doing awesome. That was, as per Kevin from Nerd's uh, recommendation, that's how we've been doing it here. And it's been working awesome, but I do think she's getting ready to kind of grow on up. And I just wanna show you what the young lady looks like, but I gotta pull off a few things. But I'll do that for you all. Because I know you want to see her. So let me just gently pull this out. Whoa. Oh, there she is. I don't want her to run out. Hold on one second. Because she is a little flighty still. There you go. Now, I don't know. She may be large enough to actually fit, not fit through. But I'm just not 100% sure I want to go through the rigmarole today. Um, I'd rather do it when I have a little bit more time to keep an eye on her. And uh, there she goes. She's so awesome though, man. She's growing nicely. I, I, I think, I don't think she would fit through. Here they are right here. 
I don't think she'd fit through, but you know what? I am gonna hold off just because I want the enclosure to kind of do its thing first for a little while. So let's get this back on. Give me one second. Let's get Bobby Rubino, because I think he is gonna be extremely happy with his new situation. All right, Robert Rubino. Oh, easy does it, but yeah, he's definitely not gonna fit through those holes. He has grown so much, and he grew even when he wasn't well. Let me get a hat on too. Keep my little head from burning. All right, Robert, let's do this, buddy. Oh, there we go. Whoa, windy. Easy does it, Rob. All right, so I'm excited to put him out in a larger enclosure, one that has water on a timer. It's got plenty of places to hide and bask. Um, I think this will be really, really good. Now, obviously, walking through Slinky's environment, we're going to be careful with Bobby because we know Slinky will eat absolutely anything. But we're not going to let that happen to Robert. Okay. All right. Here we go. There's Slinky. There's the Slinks. Always wanting to kind of, always wanting to get on out and see a new site. Soon he'll have such a nice enclosure that we won't have to worry about him being bored anymore. We made it past him, no problem. How awesome is this? Hey guys, you got a new friend to come watch. Look at all the Chinese box turtles. When it starts to water, they come active, they become active. See this nice rainstorm we got here? Go on, Robert, go on. Go ahead, look, look what you got. Look at this place. It's all for you, buddy. It's all, no, don't be scared of me. It's a perfect spot for you, bud. Look at all that room you got, man. I'll probably throw in some palm fronds too. I think that'd be a good idea. I want more area for him to actually hide in. Uh, and while I'm at it, let's let him walk around. But while I'm at it, we do have something to do. Let's see if he'll eat. That's always a good sign with Robert, is making sure that he eats. Hey, where are you going, bud? Are you gonna go right in there and hide? Is that where you're going? He's gonna go right into the uh, habit cave from Fluker. Maybe not, oh boy. There's that big old, that big old python. I don't know, Mr. Python. Come here, look, Robert. Come here, Bobby. Look what I got, look what I got, look what I got. Look at that, stick your tongue on that. This might be too much going on for him at the moment before he decides he wants to eat. Oh boy. I'll tell you, I think I am going to pull this snake right away here. Just because I don't know if I want these guys stressing each other out. Probably not a good idea. So we'll pull him. Get that guy sorted out somewhere else. Look at this, look at this. You want it? That's a boy. Get that little roach. <laughs> Remember guys how wonky he was? He's doing so much better, this, this uh, monitor. He eats all the time. He's still got a little bit of a, of a wonk, but my goodness, how much better is he than we've seen in the past? I know this lizard's gonna make a full recovery just because I've been watching him get so much better uh, over the last few weeks. So I'm really excited about that. Good stuff, man. Yeah, I think, what do you think? Let's go get some palm fronds and get this all set up while he eats right there. That's what I'm gonna do. You guys have a watch, see what these two maniacs are up to. And then, uh, oh my gosh, that's so close. Good thing they can't get each other. Wow. Loving Bobby Rubino.
All right, people, I'm back. How did Bobby do? Oh, looks like he ate it. Nice job, Bobby. Um, so I just went out and I grabbed a little palm frond here. And I think this will be a nice little extra source of cover. But well, let's do it on this side. Uh, just a little extra for him to hide under. See that? So there he is. Let's see if he'll eat another one of these delicious treats. I like how they come. Well, I always like to pick the smaller ones and then the larger ones I give to Pinky. Come here. Come here. Oh, easy does it. But you see, the reason I wanted to get him in the larger enclosure is because he is more tolerant of me. There you go. There you go. Good boy. So that's awesome, man. Uh, loves to eat. Doing great. Very happy with this. It does take him a little while to get it down, but that's only because it is a flat, a flat piece of food item there. And he gets a little pine needles and stuff. He's got to figure it all out. Give it a good shake. Where'd it go, buddy? Where'd it go? It's right there, man. Use that tongue. Find it. Where'd you put it? Yeah, let me help you. Let me help you. He's so gentle. There you go. Good boy. That'll do it. This is awesome, man. I love making these lizards' lives better. And now that he's out in the full sunlight and he's got this uh, habitat, I can tell you he is going to put on a lot of size this summer so remember this video because at the end of the summer rubino is going to be much bigger man we're going to have a much larger lizard for everyone to marvel at and uh hopefully he'll be even healthier so i'm just doing this update thought you guys would like a little video don't worry i know everyone's worried about that python there i will take care of that we're going to go ahead and move him out no big deal He's only got a couple more weeks here at the camp, so we'll go ahead and get him into another enclosure. In the meantime, good job, Bobby. Really stoked you're healing up so well. And don't worry, we'll come back, put some weight onto our gal, Inky, and get her into her new enclosure, which is just over here. Let me shut this up, just like this. Oh, these little knobs I should have made a little bit easier, huh? They seem to have shifted. I need both hands. That's a good thing. Let's do it. Watch that. You just gotta pull down a little bit. Gosh. All right, so guess what? I gotta fix this. There's always something going on. Let's see. Yeah, I don't like this at all. I'm getting a drill. Anyway, folks, gonna go get the drill. Gonna fix this. That's it, that's it for the video. Bobby Rubino, you got a new spot. I hope you enjoy it, buddy. All right, everyone. I'll see you guys soon on another episode of Camp Kennan. Like and comment below, and I hope you take care of your animals. Be kind to them. Take care.